Well, hey church, it's so good to have you with us during our 21 days of prayer. And if you haven't met me before, my name's Julie Kia and I oversee Audacious Wellbeing and you would generally find me at the central campus in Manchester. Well, today our focus in prayer is for breakthrough in wellbeing, both physically and emotionally. And the focus of our prayer today is going to be around an incredible story that we read about in my Mark 5, 25 to 34. And if you've been in and around church for a while or you read your Bible, you will have read the story of the woman who was physically unwell and she was in a crowd and she reached out and she touched literally just the edge of Jesus's cloak and she was healed. And we're going to jump into the story there in Mark 5, the last verse, verse 34. And we're going to hear what Jesus said to her. He said to the woman, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Now, with the advancement of science and medicine over the last few decades, we now know that it's not possible to treat someone who is unwell um, just physically, but we also have to look at things mentally. So they are so intrinsically linked, our mind and our body, that we cannot possibly just look at one in isolation. And I love the fact that when Jesus met with this woman, when she encountered him, she got so much more than she bargained for. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, I want us to take a deep but quick dive into these words that Jesus spoke to the woman. He used three key words there, healed, peace and freed. And that word healed means saved and made well, that physical healing. He said, go in peace. And that word peace there means peace of mind. And get this, it means to tie together into a whole, a whole, how incredible. And then freed, and that word freed meaning sound, whole and healthy. This woman came to Jesus for physical healing, but in the process of simply reaching out and touching Jesus, he healed her body. He gave her peace in her mind and declared her sound, whole and healthy. We're told in this story that this woman had spent every penny she had on doctors, but was still not better. And maybe you're watching this today and you or someone in your family or workplace has tried everything, every doctor, every therapist, every self-help book or website, but is still needing a breakthrough. And today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be praying into miracles and breakthrough in physical healing and in mental health. And it might be that you um, or someone you know has had a long term health condition or a long term mental health condition. Um, maybe um, you've been struggling recently or know someone who has, but this day to day, we are going to be, be believing for miraculous breakthrough and that as we reach out to Jesus in faith, just like this woman did, that he is going to give us more than we could ask, think or imagine. Let's pray together. Father God, I thank you today that you are the God of the breakthrough. I thank you that Audacious Church is a house of miracles. And Father, today for every person watching this, Lord, who maybe is struggling with their physical or mental health, Lord, we are declaring healing and breakthrough. Father, we pray for those who've had long-term conditions, maybe scary diagnoses in the natural, but God, today we are declaring declaring miracles, we're declaring healing, we're declaring transformation in the name of Jesus. Amen. And don't forget, church, to join with many of our prayer opportunities that are happening during this 21 days of prayer. We would love to see you and also in church on Sunday. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye for now.